probably encounter workflows every day. Conceptually, a workflow is just a sequence of steps. For example, subscribing to a service, buying concert tickets, booking a vacation, or filing an expense report. But the key characteristic about workflows is that they need to be resilient. Let's see why that's important. Let's say a company needs to reimburse an employee for a business trip. The first step involves withdrawing 100 from the company account and depositing 100 into the employee account. In order for this to work correctly, you must execute both the withdrawal and deposit and do each of them exactly once. Now imagine what would happen if you aren't using Temporal. Your application crashes before the deposit and after the withdrawal. Unless you design the application to recover from this, something that's notoriously difficult to get right, especially at scale, then you've got a big problem. If you rerun the application, it will repeat the steps that have already been completed, which means it will do another withdrawal and the balance of that account will be wrong. That's not a problem with the temporal workflow because it can overcome a crash without losing state or repeating previously completed steps. And because of this durable execution, a temporal workflow can run for as long as it takes to get the job done. Temporal prevents this from happening by preserving the state and continuing right where it left off like no failure ever happened. Even if the application itself crashes, Temporal automatically recreates the application's pre-failure state and it continues right where it left off. It does so with something called an event history. With Temporal, workflows are defined by writing code, known as a workflow definition, and you'll develop those workflows by writing code in language that you already know, such as Go, Java, TypeScript, Ruby, c -sharp, or Python. And the exact same code you write is what runs at runtime. This means you can stick with your favorite tools and libraries while building on Temporal. Workflow definitions are carried out by running that code, which is known as a workflow execution. Every running instance of that workflow is a separate workflow execution. For example, you might run the reimbursement workflow to reimburse Jane and again to reimburse Martin. By the way, every workflow has a name, which Temporal refers to as a workflow type. The workflow type is the name associated with that workflow definition, which makes it possible to distinguish one type of workflow, such as an employee reimbursement workflow, from another, such as a customer onboarding workflow. And with Temporal, you can develop as if failures don't even exist. The Temporal platform handles these type of failures, allowing you to focus on the business logic instead of writing application code to detect and recover from failures.